everyone, what's up? My name is William Murray. I am 30 years old. I currently live in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, and I am Canada's strongest man under 80 kgs. Welcome to the channel. Here we are going to talk all strongman things. We're going to go over what the game plan is for 2023. I'm going to let you in on a couple side projects that I've got going on with different things. Uh, hopefully to just keep things entertaining so you're not just watching lifting videos all the time. Kind of give you a background on the sports here in Canada, my own credentials and things like that. So I've been competing in this sport for about eight years now. I want to say it was like 22nd birthday. I started training with Calgary Barbell. So shout out to them for getting all of this going. Uh, Bryce Krawchuk, he kind of introduced me to heavy lifting as I had only been in a gym for about a year previous to that. Uh, just casual training as I used to compete in freestyle snowboarding at a higher level. I was about 125 pounds soaking wet. I wanted to gain some weight and kind of get a little bigger. You know, gain some strength and flexibility and things like that. And quickly, I tried out the sports. I fell in love with it. There was a competition in my hometown, Cranbrook, BC, and uh, it was strongman. I wanted to give it a go. It looked fun. It was geared towards amateur competitors, so I thought that might be interesting. So we trained up for six, seven months. I think it, we gave it a go. Came in last place, but I did pretty well. I didn't zero on any of the events, which was quite impressive, being the smallest guy by about 50 pounds. My ideas of weight gain were disgusting off of the start. I just ate everything I could as fast as I could. High fat, high calorie, no health about it. And I did about 40 pounds, nine months. Yeah, so quite gross. And then uh, I personally deal with uh, severe depression. So I had a bit of an episode that I went through later that year and I lost 35 pounds in a month, so not the best. That's a bit more on my background. Gave it everything I could every year until finally it just became too much on relationships and stuff. So I had to back down, dial it in to find a nice uh, gym to life ratio, which I have now balanced really nicely as I'm giving it my all, but also you know having a life outside of the gym. To fill you in more, coming now to 2022, we did our first show in Kelowna, and with the rules a little bit, um, if you win a regional show, you got your ticket to nationals. So I did a Kelowna show. I won it uh, with a couple new guys in the sport that I was going up against, but I got my free ticket to nationals. We focused the whole summer just on rebuilding a better athlete, and come October, we went out to Thunder Bay, and we won Canadian nationals. So three out of five events, win for me and then the day after we actually held a an official record breakers to kind of set some new milestones for the i took on three so set the new farmers carry record a circus dumbbell and atlas stone over bar also winning i received the first ever canadian u80 pro card which actually it's a new thing so i believe it's the first pro card anywhere in the world um, it's a new standard that Canada has started and they're going about this because we are literally one of the largest countries in the world. We are trying to up the competitor level and with one of those kind of cool things about being a pro now is I can sanction events. So if I go somewhere very rural, which is very common, we can now make these events officially part of Strongman Corp and you can have strong motherfuckers coming out of the bush uh, who have never lifted before but will wipe the floor with some of these guys who have been training in gyms. And that's just really cool because if we're seeing records get broken, either regionally, provincially, or nationally, I can officiate those and make them official. So one of the beneficiaries of being a pro. It also gives me uh, free invites to uh, Western Pro uh, level competitions um, but the biggest ones that we're focusing on for 2023 are going to be my first invite to the Arnold's down in Columbus Ohio so I will be representing Canada there and with that I'm um, going to give it my all kind of just uh, we're keeping it low though a through a personal invite of message between 
Maxime Boudreau and Anthony Fearman. I was also sent an invite for Clash of the 80s. Super excited for that one once they announced the date and location. And last up, we've got our own invite to the official Strongman Games, OSG, down in Daytona Beach, Florida. That is the ultimate goal, to uh, eventually get to be the world's strongest man. That is where it's made. That's where it's done. Go against the best of Josh Kowalewski. You got Richie Stout showing up there. We've got Tommy Lynn Lavelle, big fan of him. You got Danny Ashcroft coming from the UK. Hopefully we get to see Josh Lancaster one day. Uh, Benjamin Smith, I got to watch him this year. He absolutely killed it. William Cody Abel, good friend of mine. He is awesome and an absolute beauty to compete with. I'm going to be seeing him at the Arnold's. Can't wait. And from there, we've got one of the best up-and-coming strongmen ever to hit U80. Ben Donan from France, who smashed Clash of the 80s first. Uh, first time last summer went on to win OSG and now I get to go against him at the Arnold so that'll be very interesting Andrew Haynes, another good friend he's making his awesome comeback finally we get to see him at the Arnold's and uh, see what he's bringing back to the table and a ton of others I could list them off for ages but essentially yeah Canada is going to represent and uh, I just hope uh, to show you what we can bring Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. We're going to go over some gym training sessions, what it's been like. I had some time over the holidays to train at the Strength Edge and kick off our Arnold training. Uh, we're here in Kelowna where we don't really have a strength-focused gym, so it's a little more difficult, but we're doing the best we can here. And uh, we're going to obviously give you live updates on all of these shows as they're going about. And uh, yeah, hope you like it. Hope you enjoy Hit the like button down below, the subscribe button, stay tuned for more, and we'll see you then. See ya.